All right, hey guys, welcome back to the garage. And if you get a chance in this video, if you could hit that like and subscribe button, help me build Dan's Shop South Dakota. So our first project here, I'm gonna kinda try to do a nice DIY how to do it. If you've been following us, you know we've been cutting down a lot of trees. We got a lot of wood to split. I don't have a log split. So what I'm gonna do and I'll kind of show you on this uh, front end loader. I'm going to try to use these front cylinders to run a log split. And we've got these cylinders here. And on this old arc well, uh, front end loader, it's just this one pin that holds this front cylinder in. So... My plan here is to use scrap metal. I've got some rebar, some angle iron, and if I kind of bring you over here to the kids' toys area, you can see I've got a bunch of scrap metal. Um, I've got those two by threes, eighth inch sides, and I've got this, uh, I want to say that's a three inch tube, and that's quarter inch. So I'm going to use a bunch of my scraps so this doesn't cost me anything. And the idea is on that one over there to undo that bottom pin, pop it out and let it free hang. And on this one, to build an apparatus that I can drive out there in the bucket and once I get there, disconnect that, disconnect this, just a push pin, take two seconds. And then I grab my apparatus out of the bucket, hook it up to this cylinder, and actually use that cylinder as my log splitter. So with all that said, wish me luck. Well, step one here, I'm just cutting what is ultimately going to be, I guess you'd call it the axe head at the end of the log splitter. So we'll use this cylinder to push the log into the axe head that I'm making now. So you can kind of see me fabbing that up. Just going to throw some rebar in there to give it a little bit more strength. Weld my V together here. And that's not straight at all, so we'll have to hit that over a little bit here. There we are. So, just putting those welds in there. I'm not going to win any welding awards, I can tell you that much. But, they are strong. Um, a lot of fixing on that front end loader. Got a lot of other projects that I've uh, welded with. It's just a Sentry 110-volt uh, welder, flux core. So here I am trying to shape that axe head, get it nice and sharp. And you can kind of see how it, it comes to a point and then spreads out at the back. Later we're going to learn that is not going to work. But for now, it looks pretty good. So right here, I'm just kind of measuring how far on that slide the cylinder is going to push because I don't want the cylinder to actually come in contact with the axe head. So this is a little plate that goes on the end of the cylinder to push the log. And I'm just drilling the holes for that so we can put a just a metal rod through that. You can see me doing that. So we got that push end, got the axe end, kind of all set up, trying to figure out what angle this is going to sit at. We've got our angle figured out. Now we're adding, these are quarter inch thick angle iron. So I'm just adding that. Uh, that's going to, that's what attaches to the side of the front end loader. And ultimately we're going to put a bolt in there because I've got a lot of problems with this drill. I was trying to drill through those, and that's two sets of arms there, and I just don't have a bit that wasn't dull 
So I gave up on that. I'm just welding in a nut and a big uh, three quarter inch bolt that's gonna go in there. That is the only thing tool wise I'm gonna need for putting this log splitter on and taking it off is a 13 16 wrench. So not so bad. Now I'm working on what I'm going to call the top of the cylinder because you've got to hold the cylinder down to the slide or the base so the cylinder doesn't jump out. So I'm just using some 8 inch and wiring here. Again, what I have in scrap. And it's going to be welded down to the base of the, or the slide of the log splitter and then we'll just throw bars through the top of it you know, to kind of encapsulate that hydraulic cylinder so it doesn't jump away from us. It's amazing how much a drill press helps out. I can't, I couldn't use that bit to drill through the front end loader, but on the drill press I can use it to get through everything. I got a little can of used oil there. I'll just spray some of that in. So here we are putting on the top. What you didn't see off camera is I test ran it. That original axe head we made was way too wide. So I'm just using one single plate of quarter inch steel here to make my new axe head. Thanks for tuning in today. We got that log splitter made. It's not going to handle really big ones, but small ones. It works. It's awesome. Uh, pretty excited about it. Can't wait to go give it a shot next weekend. Now I'm going to set this up and we'll see how long it takes me to break this down uh, for when I'm out in the field. So thanks for tuning in. Hit that like button, that subscribe button. And if you're feeling crazy, hit the notifications. Help me grow Dan Shop SD. This will be one of many DIY videos to come. So, thank you.